Okay, hi guys. Uh, it's the final episode of Blag a Million. Our 90 days are up, and uh, <clears throat> the fact is, we haven't got a million pounds. There have been some good times, there have been a lot of very, very bad times. Schemes we've done have been selling breast milk ice creams, attempting to release a single, which it has been made. We're still going to make the video. We've also um, sold fake vaginas. Ten pounds, fake vaginas, roll up, roll up. Lovely, juicy, moist. <laughs> about three of them. I now have about 15 in my bedroom at home. And uh, selling slaps for one pound a go. Oh! Oh! One good thing to come out of this whole debacle has been the world's smallest festival, which we did do last week, um, and it was a big, big success. <laughs> I've always found it extremely difficult to attract women. See what I mean? Why hello there? Why hello there? Because it's a common greeting. You're watching current TV, but you probably knew that, or at least had a vague idea. Okay, the gist of this pod is to see which kind of props I can use to gain the attention of as many women as possible. Okay, so the day began with us going to um, Soho in London. I can't really remember when I last went into a sex shop. Now we've got some steak here. This is for my mother. Uh, lovely, jubbly. I posed the question about sex toys. <laughs> it's, it's a woman's choice at the end of the day, isn't it? And they were even more thrown <clears throat> when I got out the fake vagina. Oh, yeah, yeah like, this is the male <laughs> sex toy. <laughs> Here is a Corby trouser press. This belongs to my father, and I know he's a great big fan of paninis. So here we are, bit of salami, bit of mozzarella. Stick a bit more in there, close it up, stick it in the Corby, take the chopstick away. I hope you've enjoyed our little excursion into the world of the obscure, and it would be a pleasure to see your lovely face again. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>